did he look like? Now, Jibreel took on multiple forms, right? He took on a human form. Sometimes he take on an angelic form, but it wasn't his full form. The Prophet says, رَأَيْتُ جبريل. I saw Jibreel, وَلَهُ سِتُّ مِئَةِ جناح. And he had 600 wings. The Prophet said, he filled up the entire horizon, and he was sitting on a throne that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided for him. And the Prophet ﷺ said, not only are those 600 wings spread out, he said, يَنْتَسِرُ مِنْ رِيشِهِ التَّهَوِيرُ مِنَ الدُّرِّ وَالْيَاقُوتِ There are constant rubies and pearls falling from his wings. The color of his wings are khadra, are green. And the soles of his feet are green. That's what he looks like in angelic form. Alright, unparalleled by any of the angels. Okay, what does he look like in human form? Now Jibreel can assume multiple human forms. He can look different. Okay, but when he came to the Prophet ﷺ, he had a consistent human form. And he said, Jibreel looked like Dihya ibn Khalifa al-Kalbi radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Dihya was called the Yusuf of Banu Kalb. What did Yusuf Islam? what did the women comment about Yusuf Islam? That hadha malakun kareem, this is a noble, this is a beautiful angel, right? So Dihya was called the Yusuf of Banu Kalb. Women could not keep their hands off of Dihya. Now what is the relationship then between Allah and Jibreel alayhi salam? Number one, He is Kalimullah min al-Mala'ika. He is the one that Allah speaks to from the angels. Now you might be thinking to yourself, doesn't Allah speak to all of the angels? No. Just as there are particular human beings that Allah speaks to directly, there are particular angels that Allah speaks to directly. So He speaks to al-Muqassimati Amra, all four of the angels we mentioned, that apportion the command of Allah. There are narrations of direct communication between Allah and them. But Allah always speaks directly to Jibreel. There is not a single prophet of Allah that you study, except that there is a mention of Jibreel. Seriously, just go through Qasas al-Anbiya, the stories of the prophets. You'll find a mention of Jibreel alayhi salam in some way, shape or form. He's got to be there. Because he has been sent to 124,000 prophets. In the hadith of in Muslim Imam Ahmad, there were 124,000 Anbiya. Amongst them, 315 were messengers, were rusul. He has been sent to each and every single one of them to teach them, to raise them, to support them, to protect them. He was there. He's, he's got a first-hand account. What is another title that he has with them? He is Nasir al-Anbiya. He's the one who supports the prophets. He aids the prophets. Jibreel is the one who told Ibrahim to throw stones at him. And we do that today in commemoration of that moment that Jibreel told Ibrahim, throw those stones at shaitan. So subhanAllah, look at that tradition, look at that rich legacy that we have from that moment. That Jibreel is the one who taught Ibrahim the Hajj in the first place. Now sometimes the mention of Jibreel alayhi salam is not as prominent, not as pronounced. So for example, in the story of Yusuf, do you ever associate Yusuf alayhi salam with Jibreel alayhi salam? You don't, I mean, you don't see, you could listen to an entire series on Yusuf alayhi salam and Jibreel never comes into the picture. But he is there. Yusuf alayhi salam, the ayah says, فَلَمَّا بَلَغَ أَشُدَّهُ آتَيْنَاهُ حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا When he reached his age of maturity, we gave him uh, wisdom and knowledge to show that Yusuf's prophethood started at a much earlier age. His journey with Allah and with Jibreel alayhi salam starts at a much earlier age. Where is his first encounter with Jibreel? When his brothers threw him into that well and Yusuf alayhi salam went plunging to the bottom, he landed in the hands of a man that he's never seen before. Jibreel alayhi salam. Jibreel caught him to make sure that the fall was not too, too harsh on him. And subhanAllah, you think about that. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he comments on that. In that is a sign that the creation never catches the ropes except that the Creator catches you. لا يضيعك الله. Allah does not lose you. Allah does not let you go to waste. Sometimes it's very subtle. Though you don't hear it prominently being mentioned, that's a pretty significant role. That Yusuf did not go crashing to the ground, instead Allah sent Jibreel to catch him. Sometimes you see the mention of Jibreel not necessarily with the prophet that's being spoken about in the story, but with the enemy of that particular prophet. So with Musa alayhi salam, he was with Musa a lot, but the most, you know, the, the narration that we see an authentic mention of Jibreel in the story of Musa is actually with his enemy, it's with Fir'aun. And it's an authentic hadith in a Tirmidhi, that Jibreel came to the Prophet ﷺ and he told the Prophet ﷺ, you should have seen me the day that Fir'aun died. Jibreel ﷺ said, as he was drowning in the bottom of the sea, he said, I went and I found him and I started kicking dirt into his mouth. فَخَشِيتُ أَن يَقُولَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَيَرْحَمُهُ اللَّهِ 
So because I was afraid that he would say, La ilaha illallah, that he would repent and Allah would have mercy on him. Who knows Allah better than Jibreel? And Jibreel knows that Allah is so merciful that even Fir'aun has a chance. And he was afraid that with that one moment of repentance, Allah would void all of those years of corruption and tyranny. Jibreel is worried that Fir'aun has a chance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now did Jibreel ruin his fate? No, Allah told Jibreel after that, Ya Jibreel, وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي I swear by my glory and my honor that لَوْ إِسْتَغَاثَنِي وَاسْتَغْفَرَنِي غَفَرْتُ لَهِ If he would have sought forgiveness from me sincerely, I still would have forgiven him. Your putting dirt in his mouth would not have stopped it. Okay, I still would have forgiven him. Now here's the thing. You might think, well, why the dirt in the mouth? When wicked people die anyway, the malaika do what? The angels do what? يَضْرِبُونَ وُجُوهُمْ They're hitting them in the face. Why did Jibreel hate Fir'aun so much? He said, أَبْغَطُهُ يَوْمَ سَمِعْتُهُ يَقُولْ أَنَا رَبُّكُمُ الْأَعْلَى I hated him the day I heard him say, I am your Lord the Most High. That shows you something about Jibreel. And in hadith literature, sometimes when Jibreel came to the Prophet ﷺ, he did not say, Allah says, he said, Al-A'la, the Most High says, the Most High has done. Which shows the status or, 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 or the regard that Jibreel shows for his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala.